Hi, my name is Mary Howe. I am the founder and executive director of Homeless Youth Alliance in San Francisco, California. Our mission is to meet young people experiencing homelessness um, where they're at, to see them all as the individuals they are with unique experiences and life stories and help them build healthier lives for themselves and their community. You guys helped me out and uh, have supported me through a lot of my tribulations. And I haven't been in prison since 2016. And that was a yeah. big part from you guys helping me. They uh, kept me alive for many years. You guys seem to uh, genuinely care. And, uh, I don't understand, I think, a little more on the level. As soon as we build rapport with someone and work with them, we will continue to work with them regardless of where they are. So that could be even if they move neighborhoods, that means if they go to jail, if they go to the hospital, we continue to support and work with people as long as they need us to. Um, and often that can even be after they've secured housing and have gotten off the street. Sometimes that can be one of the hardest times. You know, we have a transitional age youth housing program located in the south of Market. We've had that for a few years. We opened the second safe sleeping village. Um, ours is called Camp Community Action Made for People, which has about 40 residents. That has been really fascinating. We do street outreach where like the outreach counselors hand out supplies and that is everything from like medical supplies, hygiene supplies, food. Young people um, sit on all of our frontline hiring committees. They decide the supplies we hand out, how we do services. And it's like through those really meaningful connections and relationships that long-term change is possible. But it's like you only get there by handing out socks and snacks and um, for people who are using drugs, safe injection supplies or through our medical clinic. And they see time and time again through our consistency and our openness that like we are people to be trusted are different than maybe other programs and systems that have failed them. I continue to be in awe and amazement of the very profound and simple gesture of truly seeing and accepting people and um, allowing them to participate and facilitate what change looks like in their own lives. I started going to the HYA because of the resources that were available. Um, I wanted clean needles and clean cookers and all the things. When I went, I started uh, realizing that there was so much more available to me. They continued to engage with me and like teach me different uh, harm reduction practices, which like allowed me to survive. They gave me hope um, until I was in a place where I could actually have hope. They helped me stay alive long enough for me to be able to like actually get clean and change my life and like now I have two young sons uh, that I care for and I have a little over five years and eight months clean. You know, I, I feel like our ability to change is directly, directly corresponds to our ability to be honest. I had this narrative that like getting loaded was so adventurous and so cool and like um, being homeless was also punk rock and like so cool. And going to the Homeless Youth Alliance, I was always met in an engaging and empathetic way that made me feel human. Like human enough to be able to have hope that maybe my life would eventually change. And they made being clean and being like a productive member of society an attractive thing. Once you have felt somebody else help you better your life, you kind of feel compelled to, to give back and do the same. Like, I just didn't think this was possible for me. I didn't think that I could have a house or children or a job uh, that I loved. It's extraordinary, you know, and, and that's a direct reflection of the Homeless Youth Alliance. 